Okay, this is the P2 paper from October 2023. This is question number six, and it's an integration question, or rather, it's a trapezium rule question. Uh, give you time to just have a look at the diagram that we've got there. But basically, we're trying to find an estimate for this area. I normally say area under the curve. I actually, in this case, mean the area between the curve and the x-axis, but it's still uh, going to be using the trapezium rule. Um, what have we got for our trapezium rule? Well, we've got one, two, three, four, five strips here. Each one is of width three. We've got our values of y0, y1, and so on as being y0 is equal to naught. That's unusual. Then there's y1, y2, y3, y4, and again, unusually, y5 will be a value of zero there. But we're just going to um, employ the trapezium rule. Let's get going and actually do it that the um, estimate area or estimated area is going to be equal to D over 2 and then it's Y0 plus Y5 and it's two lots of everything else Y1 plus Y2 plus Y3 plus Y4. So if we do that, D is equal to 3, so it's 3 over 2. Those first and last values are both 0, and then it's 2 lots of everything else. So what was it? It was 1.52, it was 2.74, it was 3.12, and it was 3.08. So sticking all those values uh, into the calculator simply gives me an answer of 31.38 square metres. In this case, go back and just, just read the uh, question here. Um, and it said it wanted, um, use the reason rule to give, yeah, just to find it an estimate. It didn't say about decimal places or significant figures, but that's part A done. It then says the water in the river is modelled as flowing at a constant speed of 1.5 metres per second across the whole cross section. Use the answer A to find the volume of water flowing through. So what we've got is that, um, and the, sorry, the volume flowing through each minute. Okay, so if I want to do that, I know that the volume is simply going to be, it's very straightforward, the volume is going to be that surface area multiplied by the rate, multiplied by the 1.5, and then multiplied by 60, because that's rate per minute, uh, sorry, rate per second, and we want it for one minute. So the answer to the volume generated will be that 31.38 that we just had multiplied by, it's doing 1.5, and it does it for 60 seconds. So whatever that then works out to be, 2,800 metres cubed, simply because on the question it said, um, giving your answer to two significant figures. And then finally, it says, assuming the model, um, sorry, states, giving a reason for your answer, whether the answer, our estimate, is an overestimate or an underestimate for the volume of water flowing through that. So what we've then got to do is to just look and see what would that trapezium rule have given me? Well, the trapezium rule would have given me that trapezium there, that trapezium there, and so on and so on and so on. Now that's not particularly neat here, maybe on, on that's probably the best one to look at here, if we look at it in a little bit more detail. My answer is gonna give me that area there, but what we are doing then is we are missing that little bit there. My answer would be an underestimate. But to actually explain that to the examiner, I'll probably use a little bit of a diagram and just maybe just make it a bit uh, more exaggerated when we're doing it then, that if we had that, and we had that, for example, that we could then say, yeah, um, shade that bit in. just say um, the approximation 
is an underestimate underestimate and you could maybe say I've just pointed that there but it's only worth one mark anyway so it's really more explaining to you guys than uh, worried about what the examiner's going to think about that one so yeah slightly unusual and trapezial question but still very straightforward hopefully